I've made a B level, and let's talk about that. Now, I've always wanted to make some kind of video uh, based around me talking about the process of designing and making a level, but I just never really got around to do it. But uh, anyway, I guess uh, I just happened to make a level uh, a few days ago, and I feel like it's a perfect opportunity. So, anyway, I'm gonna talk about the ingredients and the design aspects of the level, and then I'm gonna go through uh, every little design aspect up until the first checkpoint so as to not uh, spoil things, I guess. So here we are in my uh, tadpole editor and what you can see is the finished product of this level and uh, I would love to show a time lapse or the process of sh making this level if I could which uh, actually in fact I took a few screenshots of me well making this tree here and it was quite interesting but uh, having a time lapse would be cool, but uh, I always don't make it in a single uh, single session. I just kind of come back to it after I do something else, and then I do something else again. But anyway, let's talk about the ingredients first. Uh, first of all, this is a B level, so we're gonna be making use of bees. This little guy here is uh, our main character, and the other thing here is the honey block. So the screen is gonna show a B diagram right now. So basically, B is a uh, neutral, and he will not hurt you, but he still does damage. But if you dare to hurt a single B, or you dare to touch their honey cube, they will get angry. And when they get angry, they chase you, which isn't a good thing for the player. Well, because uh, allow me to explain. So now the screen is gonna display a Fraggle diagram. Basically, Fraggle is strong on the sides and weak on the top or bottom, because Fraggle is able to essentially catch any enemies with just a single button with his tongue. But uh, he's not able to do that diagonally or upwards and downwards, which means uh, any enemy that can that has any verticality in its movement would be very dangerous to Fraggle. And that's why uh, bees can be very dangerous. And that's why uh, accidentally touching this honey honeycomb honey cube would not be a good idea because that would aggro all the bees in the world. And these things are not easy to deal with in numbers, as they can also go through walls. Uh, as seen in this footage here, they are just chasing Frog all around. And aside from these uh, major players, there's also these little bug enemies, which I use in the levels, but they're not the main thing, they're just as side challenges, and there's also gym the blue variant specifically, uh, it kind of behaves like copy. It kind of behaves like hobby caps from Mario Wonder. But anyway, let's move on to uh, the actual level design. So here we are in the first room. This is the beginning. The player will encounter the bee and the first honey cubes, but they will not know what the hell they are, which is exactly what this speech block is. Uh, gonna do it's gonna give a dialogue that explain the function of uh, this thing uh, it gives a little cute dialogue about from the beast telling the players to not take them and after entering this door here the player is led to the next room which uh, I guess officially begins the level but anyway uh, there's an item block here and a few coins there players can grab that and here's the normal enemy a more familiar one, and here's a bee. And a little bit of shenanigans here. There's a gym here, which uh, the players get to choose to dodge the gym or go bottom row and earn some coins, but it doesn't really matter. It's all pretty easy, all things considered. 
And here we have the first encounter, proper encounter with the honey cubes. The players can ignore it and go through this little tunnel or uh, actually ease the combs, but there's kind of no problem. There's kind of a lot of bees here. So they will go through here and there's a door you can enter here, which brings you to the next area. And here's a little grappling challenges with also a bee kind of in a way. And after that, you go here and you come out from the bottom and there you reach the first checkpoint. And you can also notice that there's a honeycomb here, honey cube. The player can actually like eat it to gain a little bit of advantage, like as a little shortcut, but uh, as a result, they will also anger the bees. So it's a little option. And also in this area, you may player can see this little side area here that they have not explored which uh, could make them suspect that there's other entrances that they could have missed which leads back to this there could be stuff hidden within this area which uh, there actually is so if they want to get this gem they will have to eat the, eat the honey cube and also aggro the bees which is pretty cool but anyway, there's also this level generally is not involving with a lot of this uh, honeycomb. These options of whether the player should have the honey cubes or not. Also, like this here. So yeah, it kind of goes on for the whole level. So I feel like I don't have to explain beyond this checkpoint. But uh, after this, I feel like I can uh, explain a little bit of the tile set and the visuals. Now let's talk about the visuals. Now this game actually started with uh, more generic colors, but as time went on, I decided to transition to uh, a bit more pastel kind of colors, which I really like. And here we are. And in this level, it also continue, continues the trend of using pastel colors, but uh, the main kicker is kind of the tile set. You can see that there's kind of a lot of things going on. So first of all, there's the ground, which uh, we have the front and the back, and the front cast shuttle to the back, which is nice. And the same thing goes for the leaves on the trees, and to top it off, the logs and the branches kind of goes around, and all in all, it looks really nice when there's a lot of things going on, while also looking uh, pretty consistent. Not gonna lie, it was a pain tiling this level together. It was kind of like playing a jigsaw puzzle because I had to look at every kind of possible shadow combinations to make it look right, but uh, it was all very worth it in the end. And honestly, the forest levels are honestly a kind of my favorite uh, amongst the game in terms of aesthetics. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this B level as much as I did. Uh, there's kind of not much else I have to talk about. Um, if you enjoy this kind of level designing video, please do let me know down in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll make more or do kind of do the same to the previous levels that I already made. But I think that's all I got time for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time.